Hey everybody, welcome into this week's edition of the Top 5 from Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Krizak. Today we're counting down the Top 5 Fall and Winter Baits you should be throwing on the Des Plaines River. What's nice, being a flowage like that, we can fish it all winter long. We're going to give you our picks for the best baits of what you should be throwing out there. Now on the Des Plaines, there's a couple different areas. You have your weightable sections and shallow stuff, and you also have areas down around Joliet, Shorewood, Morris, all that, where we can actually put the boats in. And these presentations we're going to talk about, they're going to work in both sections for you equally effective. The first thing we're going to talk about is a crankbait from Lucky Craft, the Square Bill 1.5s. Now what's nice about these, being a square bill, they'll deflect off of any kind of cover, be it rock, timber, anything you find down there on the bottom of the river, it'll deflect it out. They only dive about three feet or so, which is perfect. Good uh, vibration and flash on these baits. And we've played around running various square bills over the years out there, but that, that Lucky Craft square bill, the 1.5, especially in the green copper shad pattern, or copper green shad pattern, I should say. Perfect bait for the river, for the Des Plaines River. Now the rest of this list, we're gonna start getting a little finesse. And the first thing we wanna talk about is actually a shaky head setup. Now I like to run the Strike King football head shaky head jigs. And the reason I like the football heads is we can drag them through rock and gravel without the risk of getting hung up too bad. And if the current at all should catch those, those jigs, again, it's going to help keep you getting snagged. Excellent way to beat that. And what we're running on there is a cut tail worm, either a 4 inch or a 5 inch. And it can vary from day to day exactly what the fish want. And it's one thing you're going to have to play around with. Straight green pumpkin or a green pumpkin chartreuse and also black and blue on that cut tail worm are excellent options. A good old finesse jig is tough to beat. We can fish it real slow, drag it on the bottom, long pauses. A lot of times in that real cold stuff, it's not uncommon that those fish will eat it while we're dead sticking it. My favorite finesse jig is actually from Sure Set Tackle. And they do a beautiful finesse setup. 3 16 quarter ounce jigs, all you need, and small trailers. Strike King Rage Tail Chunks work great. They'll really help slow the fall down because those tails, those craw pinchers will start flapping. Gives you a real super slow fall and it's going to allow you to fish super slow and we can still drag it, we can hop it, but it is tough to beat that finesse jig, especially when they're not hitting anything else. That's kind of the one go-to bait out there. Another setup, again going back to a football head, it's kind of a hybrid setup. It's the biffle bug system. The biffle head with a biffle bug. Now we're running uh, usually about quarter ounce. We don't need to go super, super heavy. We want it to be light, we want to fish slow. It's gonna be able to hold up in the currents that you're fishing, no problem. Even if you're in the boating section where you're in deeper depths, that quarter ounce is, is perfect. And again, it's a football head, but it's segmented. So it actually, if that head's on the bottom and any kind of current, that hook's going to have a little bit of sway to it. Also, it cuts back the leverage that the fish could have of throwing a setup like that, spitting a hook on us. Gives us the edge too. And in the biffle bug, we run a three and a half inch size. Again, keeping it kind of downsized, compact. Same kind of color patterns, green pumpkin, green pumpkin chartreuse, black and blue, absolutely killer. Last but not least, my all-time favorite bait out there is actually a stand-up jig head. It's called a spot remover jig head, has a flat top on it, and that hook will stand straight up for us. So we can actually have that bait on the bottom, and that hook is going to be up like that. And what we're tipping it with is from Gambler, the Ugly Otter or the Little Otter. Those are our two favorite baits. And a lot of times we catch more on the little otter than the full size ugly otter. Great beaver style bait, a lot of action. They do one they call the winter craw, green pumpkin on top, and the chartreuse belly. 
and that is by far and away my most dynamite package to throw on the Des Plaines River, especially in that super cold water. Fish it super slow, cast it out, long pauses. We can barely drag it. We can jig it. I'll tell you what, day in and day out through the cold weather months, that bait is probably my top go-to, the, the spot remover jig head with the little otter on it. My goodness gracious, <laughs> you'll catch a ton of largemouth and smallmouth on it. So for all you winter river rats out there, what are your picks? What do you guys like to throw in the cold months on the Des Plaines River? Let your voice be heard. Let us know in the comments down below. And once again, of course, if you want to get in on some of that hot trout action that's still going on, find the links to that video there and gives you one more option to spend some time before that ice shows up, which, man, it's chilly out here filling, filming today. We're actually out just goofing around for some of these trout as well. Probably about the 30s, 40s, I think is gonna top out right at about 40 for the high today. Winters are coming, but I'll tell you what, these fish can still be caught. Just another option for you. That's about it for this week, folks. Once again, my name is Tony Krizek. We'll see you next time on Tony's Spot on Fishing.